Okay, so the Serena saga just keeps going. This morning, the Australian cartoonist got uh, labelled as uh, racist and sexist by several celebrities uh, for his cartoon. So uh, let's, let's have a look at the cartoon and uh, I'll commentate as we go along. Well, celebrities around the world are slamming an Australian newspaper for publishing a cartoon they say is racist. The caricature depicting Serena Williams' on-court meltdown appeared in the Herald Sun. Now, for more, we're joined by our entertainment reporter, Peter Ford. Pete, welcome back. Uh, this outrage is gaining momentum as we speak. Yeah, this is going to become a very big story on an international level. It already is. Now, let's take a look at the cartoon straight away because this is what the debate is about. Now, that clearly is a cartoon based on what happened with Serena Williams on the weekend. Now, people have said, some people have said, it's racist. Now, I don't understand how that can be racist and I'll talk about this in a minute. Now, suddenly someone puts it out there, they put that thought out there, everybody wants to join in. Mark Knight himself has tweeted this. Now, he has today revealed that he, in fact, is now the subject of death threats, uh, as his, are his family as well. Seven News have uh, a team with him at the moment, so you'll hear from him later in the day and certainly in the main news bulletin this evening. Now, celebrities have got involved in this. J.K. Rowling, who, of course, has got zillions of followers around the world, has really stirred the pot by, yep. by saying and very clearly indicating that she feels it's both sexist and racist. Oh, there goes Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Famously uh, had a severed head of... Uh... Donald Trump and uh, is calling this um, cartoonist, saying he should change his name to KKK, you know, Ku Klux Klan cartoons, and he's a racist piece of SHIT. Kathy Griffin never one to shy away from stirring a pot as well. And you can see her final words there, racist piece of dot, dot, dot. Eddie Perfect seems to have taken it upon himself to speak for all Australia. Well, I'm just going to say I'm Australian and I don't believe it was racist, so Eddie Perfect, you don't speak for all Australians, that's for sure, mate. ...where he says, we all think Mark Knight is a racist... No, we dot, don't dot, all dot. think. We don't, Eddie, you know, speak for yourself, sure, but don't speak for all Australians. Correct. Now, Michael Miller, he is the big boss, he is... Now, this is quite good, because he basically puts it in perspective, he's saying it's uh, the world's gone too PC, and it's a cartoon, you know, cartoons are meant to mock celebrities, politicians, and, uh, you know, emphasize their features and so forth. If, you know, someone's got a big nose thing, they'll make the nose huge, and, you know, they've obviously, uh, you can see here, they've obviously um, made her hair, because she put it in a little bun, and obviously made that, and, he's, and, you know, she's well built and everything, so, and, and you know, it's a, she's having a dummy speak, you can see clearly the dummy here, so she, he's just characterising her as uh, a sport brat who's spat the dummy and uh, the umpire saying, oh, can't you just let her win? You know, so, uh, it's just a storm in the teacup, but, you know, makes good... Uh, Good YouTube videos, I guess. The executive chairman for News Limited Australasia, and you can see here that he very clearly is defending Mike Knight's cartoon and the fact that they ran it, and he says that not only are we going to PC, but people are misunderstanding the role exactly. of what cartoons yeah. and caricatures are meant to be doing and saying. So this is a story that is not going to go away too quickly. No, I wonder if there's any word from Serena herself yet. Do we that, know, that will be most interesting to yes. keep a follow on that to see what she's got to say you're right and you know we have unfortunately from an international perspective we have had similar stories to this in the past about people in blackface and stuff so it's not a good look for us all right thank you pete we'll talk to you tomorrow we'll thank be you. back right after this okay so there we go uh so what do you think of the whole thing do you think it's uh over the top or just uh, leave your comments below and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I'm, I'm doing some more videos because this story uh, about the cartoon has sort of gained some, uh, gained some legs and I'll, I'll do some more uh, videos uh, more in depth uh, later on in the day. Okay, cheers.